You ever wish you could hit a shot low and still get that shot to be below the wind without losing much distance? Well, Greg Mulhern, one of the teaching pros at Blue Heron Hills, can explain how to do exactly that. It is our Western New York PGA Tip of the Week. There's a couple tactics you can use to kind of get the ball to go at the height that you'd like to. The better strategy is to change your swing. Your traditional swing has a lot more wrists involved where you're gonna fold the wrist to sort of an L position. But when we're flighting the ball lower, we'd like to keep the club where it's actually retaining the Y that it starts with. And as we take the club back, we'd like to keep the Y intact going back. And then even more so work on getting that club to stay in a Y position going through. To have good motion to it needs to have your body really moving well. If you can sort of picture the club as it's going through the ball, we'd like to almost attach a string to our back shoelace and then our club, and those are tied together on this shot. Most of us will make a swing faster when we use our wrists and our arms more. So that's why it's harder to do this shot um, with speed at the beginning, but the speed is gonna pick up in your lower half snapping. You start out with shorter shots, and then you're gonna eventually work to bigger golf swings. And you'll notice a big difference between your higher golf shots with your wrists involved and these Y to 